Okay, so I'm just gonna lay this out here. I feel like everybody just trash talks me just because I'm the host, but everybody loves me. They all tell me off camera that it's the greatest thing that they've done, best weekend they've had, all this good glorious stuff, and then they get in camera and everybody trash talks me. It's not nice. Hey. Welcome to the State of Woods Co. Shop. We're here for the first ever Makers Retreat. And this is a little bit of a special retreat. We didn't just decide on building something for me or any of these makers. We chose two families that had horrific things happen. They both had house fires and lost pretty much everything. And so we wanted to give back in some way. And we reached out and both families said that they wanted to have a coffee table made to bring the family closer together. So we've got Scott, Gary, myself, Landon, Christy, and Joe. If you know me at all, you know I am very competitive, right? You know me, yeah. we're very competitive. So we split up into two teams to do these two builds. Team A is winging it. We have it drawn on a piece of paper. Team B has it in SketchUp. They got yeah. plans, measurements, everything, but they're still behind us. We're still ahead of them already. Just you wait. What could go wrong on that? No, we got this. We got this. It's 10:30, but we're going to bed because everybody's tired for some reason. We should go. We should go put together. We're going clubbing. Woo! There's not enough banjo music out here for clubbing. We're drawing a full-size scale drawing of this so that we can really see what's it going to look at. So we're using this paper, drawing a full-size scale drawing, and then from that we'll pull templates off and make those. But it gives us a real idea what it's going to look like. So at this point, we've been able to get the top cut up. Um, we're gluing it together right now. Christy's in the process of doing the aprons around it. Once we get that piece taken care of, we're going to glue up the bottom space that goes between. And um, once we get that accomplished, then there may be another surprise that we're going to be working on. Stay tuned. There's more to come. So Team B has their entire design drawn up in SketchUp. They have plans. Wow. They have it. They have it all set up. Gary and I are just winging it. We're drawing it on paper and going from there. What could go wrong? <laughs> oh, cute doodle. Get out of here, Team B. Okay, so I think we've finalized our design and uh, we've used the CNC, so we're going to use all the tools in the shop. We've used the CNC to cut out a template for the leg. Then we've taken that, we've cut our hickory to size, we placed the template on the top, and then we flush trim routed it. So now we're getting our legs for the, for the bottom of the table. Once we get those, it is kind of sexy. Once we get these, then we'll start working on the aprons, etc., and we'll be able to do uh, instead of measuring, we'll be able to do relative fits or whatever they call that, like so. All right, so here's our tabletop. We went with a nice thick eight quarter top. This is gonna be sturdy. And then we also have our legs glued up right here. We're going with two pieces of five quarter glued together for a nice thick leg profile. We have our bottom shelf also out of hickory right here. It's gonna have a little bit of storage. We're doing two drawers. Bloom was kind enough to send us some 21 and a half inch slides. So I'm gonna get busy building drawer boxes right now.
You know, I have to tell you that today was a blast. It really was. I hope he doesn't invite me back because quite frankly, it's, it's not been worth the trip, but it's been, a <laughs> the build has gone, has gone really, really well for some of us and not so well for others. The one thing everybody is really good at is belittling the other person. The only drawback out of this whole time has been Nick. It's it's just, you know. I, I, <laughs> that is not true, and you know it. Don't be like that. I, this, has been, this has been actually the most fun that I have had in a very, very long time, but I live a sheltered life. <laughs> well, T-Bay has been doing everything by computer. All I do is put in the file, get it all cut out, and then put all together. You know, Team B has been, uh, you know, doing everything right, how it should be, and uh, by hand. They've come in and put it all together, and they had no plan at the beginning. I don't know what they're thinking. <sighs> What's that noise? I think the phone's ringing. Honestly, I'm still a little out of breath from going up the steps. Okay, so. Oh, I can hear. I can hear Nick's voice. The guy never stops talking. <laughs> okay, so um, it's been a really fun day. I'm on the team with Joe and Landon and Scott is now floating to both teams and he's coming over to our team permanently tomorrow. So looking forward to inheriting him. Nick is just annoying as usual. Just constantly being very competitive. You know, if this is where we're at, like this is Nick and this is me. And he knows that, so he tries to overcompensate. He's a good guy, but man, is he annoying. <laughs> Some of us are doing more work than others. Some teams, Nick's team, are pretty much just asking other people to make CNC files for them and then like pressing go. And they're like, we're woodworkers. We made this. Um, <clears throat> that's a lie, so. On a serious note, um, pretty thankful to be able to have the chance to do this and travel down here and get to know these people better and uh, help some families out. So thank you to Nick for hosting this event and hopefully we can do it again next year. But Nick is like super annoying. Uh, even if this is out of focus, like he's just, oh, oh. I think the fact that Christy didn't touch a piece of wood until like two o'clock and the only reason she did was because it was in the way of her getting to her phone because she was on her phone like all morning. It just pads the uh, the thought that her husband does all her builds for her and she just poses with it. I think that's what's happening. Joe has all the fancy equipment. He's not very good at it, but he knows how to use them. I've always had the dream of doing these maker retreats ever since I built the shop that was like one man garage or one woman garage where they're just working their fingers to the bone. I wanted to bring everybody together and do something bigger than just them. I think it's just been a great opportunity to, to meet more people, to have all these people come together. It's just a little token of our affection that we could give back to these, these families in need at this time. But anyway, um, Team A rocks, Team B, they're losers, I'm sorry. That's just how it's gonna be. I mean, I hate to be cocky about it, but you can be cocky when you know you're right. And Team A all the way, Team B is just, they're done. We're done. Sorry. All right, so today was interesting to say the least. There are, as you know, two teams, and this is like Big Brother. I'm a little nervous that I might have been voted out. But, but anyway, I'm trying to create an alliance, but <laughs> no one will align with me. Team B, they spread out and use all the tools and everything, and there was nowhere for us to be. It's been a lot of fun, and uh, can't wait till tomorrow. And when Spags, Mr. Wood Whisperer, starts judging, I'm pretty confident that he's gonna like our design. Definitely a cool experience working with other makers today. Um, to get here midday, kind of see the design that Nick and uh, Gary were working on on paper, and then to bring that uh, out to have Cole working remotely, 
and come up with some files for the CNC to cut out the aprons, uh, template for the legs. That's really cool. But just the camaraderie, the uh, back and forth with the other groups, just kind of being silly. Definitely was a fun time. Um, so glad to participate in this. Can't wait to see what tomorrow brings as we bring our projects <clears throat> closer to uh, completion. Yeah, Nick, thanks for uh, the invite. Happy to participate. Look forward to doing this again in the future. Thank you. Uh, you dirty rats, you. It's day two, and uh, we're down another team member. I don't know what's going on with Nick and I, but Sky had to go home. We miss you, buddy. We miss you, Cole. So uh, here we are. But anyway, our frame is all sanded. We took it, we did a dry fit. Now we've taken it all apart. Uh, we've got it ready to assemble, so we're going for the real team deal this time. We're gluing it all up. Uh, and then after that, really all we have to do is to fix the tabletop and put the bench up, or the shelf, right? Yeah, we're way ahead of schedule. Yeah, we're not worried about them. That's Team B, by the way. So, Team B may have seemed like it was behind. We might have been slow to catch up, but we're in the process of wrapping up at this point. Skirts are going together, the legs are going together, the top has been finished. We're well on our way to being wrapped up. It's starting to look really good. Getting there. Yeah, I know. It's, it, you guys are doing it now. I mean, it's not as good as Team A, but I don't know. It's pretty We're dang right, close. Pretty dang good. Oh, is that on camera? I have to admit it. Back. <laughs> Day number two has come to an end. Um, this is uh, this has been a, a tremendous amount of fun. We've had some uh, some cutting up. We've had a lot of uh, bantering back and forth. But I want to tell you to sit here and work with these amazing artists is uh, is pretty phenomenal. I will tell you that I am going to share that Team A has got a phenomenal build. Uh, first day at breakfast, we're sitting here and we're talking, we're laughing. Um, but to realize that these guys really didn't have a plan and to see what they pulled together. Everybody has contributed to each other's build throughout this entire piece. And I think that that is a telling story. It's kind of like this community, all makers from all over, kind of coming together, sharing thoughts, sharing ideas, especially in this case, people in need. So I look forward to many, many more of these. The other team has one issue, any single flat surface they would take over every time. And then we'd find a little spot and they go, I need that, we'd have to move. But other than that, it's been a great experience. And uh, I was asked today by Joe, uh, one of the members of Team B, what's the most important and fun thing you've had, got out of this whole experience? And he goes, name the top two things. I go, piece of cake, easy to do, friendships, which is the whole reason I came in the first place is to bond and to create lasting friendships with the people who are here. So if you guys ever get a chance to meet these folks, you should. So I hope you enjoy whatever this turns into be, and I wish you all a very good day and a very good year. Talk to you later. Um, Gary and I, we've done it amazingly. We have a table pretty much standing, all ready to go. We've got to do some sanding, some final touches, but the whole project is wrapping up very quickly. Landon here is still kicking butt. My business partner in all this, he's doing an amazing job with it. Joe, he stepped up today, I have to admit. They had some rough patches there for a little bit, 
but he's come through. Christy, she's been on her phone a lot again today. A little bit less of that and a little bit more woodworking. I have to give it to her. Um, and then me, I'm just my same old perky self. Just doing what I want to do. We gotta go out here and just blow Team B out of the water. So let me let me stop talking to you and I'm gonna get to it again. Yeah, but seriously, I had a really great time. It's a great group of people. They uh, really put their heart into all of us. And it's a really great time. Well, we are pretty much wrapping up the weekend. Regardless of what Nick has told you, our table is getting assembled. It's done. As much as their table is done, our table is done. Just because there's a standing and ours is more still in separate components doesn't mean they're further ahead than us. I saw with my own two eyes Izzy Swan working on their project for them. So I think they called in a few audibles there and phoned some friends, if you know what I mean. Alright, so it's the morning of day three. We had a great party last night. We met a ton of people. It was an amazing event. But I gotta get back on this table. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some curved details to the corners. The family doesn't want to have any sharp corners. So I'm gonna add a little radius to the corners. I'm gonna use Joe's little vest tool right here after making this template. I'm gonna cut it close and then I'm gonna use the round over bit to trim it out and uh, soften these corners. Then all I've got to do is sand the top, get everything detailed, ready to go, sand the whole piece, and we'll be ready for the finish. Yeah, get this. Get this thing. Okay, so here we are. Um, it's it's been a good build. Um, the Sellers family, you know, it's a uh, it's an honor to be able to give back to you guys. Uh, we know it was a challenge for you what you've gone through, um, but getting together with these guys right here and being able to put this together and something that you can use um, is great. I have to tell you that there were a lot of challenges with this. So. Um, you know, we improvised, adapted, overcame. Yeah. Uh, everybody contributed to the utmost for this build, and I think it's turned out great. So we really hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah. finished. This is the part that I've been waiting for the longest. Let's go give these tables to the family. So who's Nick? I'm Nick. Nick! <laughs> so nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Oh, how exciting. Oh my god. How are you? Good. <laughs> Good. This you is so Landon. Landon. Hey. Nice to meet you. And this Thanks is Dylan back. on the camera. Hey, I'm Dylan. Good Dylan. to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Nick, you excited? Yeah, this is fun. They are so excited. How are y'all? Good. <laughs> good, good. Here's your table. We went off of your design that you were talking about. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. That oh my is God, amazing. That's so beautiful. 
So it's sort of a twist, you know, Look modern. at all the details with all the, the contrasting wood. Yeah, so oh, all look this at this, is, Ivy. This is hickory, oh. and these are, this is walnut. Oh my gosh. That is so beautiful. I think that is the most <laughs> beautiful coffee table I've, I've ever seen. seen. Oh my gosh. Riley, look at our coffee table. <laughs> Rounded no edges. corners, no sharp yes, corners. Yeah, no Riley. bumped heads. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, we're glad just, you. Glad I you really like appreciate it. the kindness that you've shown us. Oh, absolutely. We're happy to do it. And then we had some money raised, so we got oh. five hundred dollars. <laughs> oh my god! For you guys, and we have a couple other things in the truck too, if you want it. My okay. Goodness. Um, Woo. We had all these makers come, <laughs> and they wanted to donate things that they made. That can That's go on beautiful. the table. So oh, here's wow. a here's that a bowl, is... and then oh, somebody my... turned a Christmas tree for Christmas. I love that is that. so cool. Chloe, so... look how cool. Oh, that is so cool. That is beautiful. You have it. <laughs> well, I'll have it, baby. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. That is so neat. That's so table. you guys made the table together. Yeah. And we lost all the furniture, everything. Yeah. And some furniture that really meant a lot to us because it was my grandmother's and our dear friends that we lost and you know just everything really meant a lot so to have something to replace it that really <laughs> yeah. means, know, a means a lot and can you know be something that'll last for yeah. generations we really appreciate it we lost everything yeah well we i guess started. you saw the house oh we haven't seen it i didn't drive just right by, across so. the street yeah yeah want to try it on yeah That's what it's all about, people. Yep. Cool was that, dude? That was awesome. Wash your hands, too. Hi. Go <laughs> <laughs> away. Shake your hands, dude. That's you awesome. Tell him your name. Can you tell him your name. Hi. Aw. What's your name? Carter. Carter. Nice to see you. Well, here's your table. It's, uh, it's a fun one to do. Oh, I love it. That is beautiful. It's real heavy like duty. That? I think so. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's pretty, isn't it? So one of the guys that built the table, he made you guys this platter. Oh, my goodness. And then somebody turned a Christmas tree for Christmas to go with it. The last last family we went to, they had little girls. They wanted to give something too to the kids, and so the little girls gave them these. So if you guys want those. What is that? <laughs> they said, I want to give something to them, so they gave that. Oh, so sweet. It's probably a good 45, 50 pounds, but other than that. <laughs> They know is where it started, but not what started it. Mm -hmm. Are you guys there when it happened? 
You were asleep. Mm. Mm. I wasn't. I was almost. almost you were asleep. <laughs> I had to go wake you up, boy. <laughs> I was close. To I had to wake everybody up. We had to get out immediately, but really? we had to stay on site for probably another five, six hours until they released us to leave. Wow. It was a. Wow. So we pretty much had to sit there and watch it happen wow. while they put everything out. Just stuff like that table kind of just gives us something to look forward to, you know, especially mm -hmm. as bad as things might be right now. It'll take yeah. longer than a year though. No, it won't always last, you know. Absolutely. No, It'll it won't. take longer than a year to be. It won't last. Though. We hope not, but we'll see. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, thank thank you all. Right. Absolutely. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. This has been one of the best experiences of my life to be able to give back to these families. And I know I speak for everyone that was associated with this State of Woods Code Maker Retreat. It was a blessing for us to be able to give back to these families. It has been such an emotional time. It has been such a rewarding time to know that we're giving these families just even a small glimmer of hope by just providing them with a coffee table that they can gather around. I want to thank Total Boat, Starbond, Clinkspore Woodworking Shop, Rubio, Bloom for providing us materials and hardware for these projects. To be able to put these projects out into these families' hands, it's meant the world to us. So I want to thank those companies. These companies are a perfect example of what community is about. They always give back towards this community. I know you saw it in the video here, but to see that in person, it was one of the most touching things that I've ever experienced. And I hope to do it many, many times over again. So thank you for watching this. Thank you for everyone that joined in and participated in any way in this maker retreat. And we hope to see you next year at the State of Woods Code Maker Retreat.